Welcome to America Reads. In today's activity, we will be focusing on mostly math, and today's standard is apply the area and perimeter formulas for rectangles in real world math problems. Let's get started. To get started with this activity, I'm going to go over the two equations that we're going to be using in order to find the area and perimeter of rectangles. Um, so the area, in order to find the area, what we're going to have to do is multiply the value that we are given for the length and the value that we're given for the width. And for perimeter, it's um, sort of similar, but the only thing that we're doing is we're actually going to add here instead of multiplying and we're going to multiply whatever I mean yeah we're going to multiply what we get here by adding the length and the width by 2 or another way that we can use to find the perimeter is by using this method right here so the perimeter is basically asking to add every single side so we're going to add this length plus this width plus this length plus this width so adding all four of the values given for each side is going to give you your perimeter. So, to get started and to demonstrate sort of an example here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle right here just so that I can sort of use this as my example. So let's say our length is 5 and our width is 2. Remember that the equation using for our area is going to be length times width, which means that we have to multiply 5 times 2, which gives us 10. So the area of this rectangle equals 10. Now to find the perimeter, we have to do 2 times length plus width. It's always helpful to write down the equations so that you don't forget it. And the more you write it, the more repetitive it gets and the easier it is to remember them in the future. So we get our Two, plug in our length which is 5 plus our width which is 2 that gives us 7 so 2 times 7 equals 14 so our perimeter to this rectangle is 14 now for our second example that I have here, I already went ahead and drew my rectangle and we have our length and our width and we also have our equation for area and our equation for perimeter. Um, and like I said, make sure that you rewrite it just so that it's easier for you to remember it in the future and you don't have to constantly go back and check what the equation is. So. Again, since our length is 10, we're going to go ahead and plug in our 10 for the length. And our width is 3 here, so we're going to go ahead and plug in our 3. So our area would be 10 times 3, which gives us 30. So our area for this rectangle would be 30. Now to find our perimeter again, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our numbers. So it's two times our length, which is 10, plus our width, which is three. So also when doing this, keep in mind to use PEMDAS, right? Because you would add what's in the parentheses first and then multiply whatever you get here by the two. So copy down our two, 10 plus three gives us 13. And two times 13 gives us 26. So our area for this rectangle is 30 and our perimeter for this rectangle is 26. 
for our third and final example here, again, I went ahead and um, put down my rectangle with the value for the length and the value for the width. I have my equation for area and I have my equation for the perimeter. So again, we can just go back in, plug in our numbers for length and width. So here, my equal sign sort of got a little funky there. Our value for length is six times our value for our width, which is four. So six times four gives us 24. <laughs> that took me a minute. Um, so now our area for the rectangle is 24 here. So now to find the perimeter again, we just plug in the values for length and width. So bring down the two. Again, keep PEMDAS in mind that you have to solve what's in the parentheses before you multiply. So our length is six plus our width, which is four. Six plus four gives you 10. And two times 10 gives you 20. So our area for this rectangle is 24 and our perimeter for this rectangle is 20. Now I'm gonna actually go ahead and show you how to use our second method to find the perimeter, which is this one right here where we're just going to add all sides. So when you have a rectangle like this and they only give you the length and the width, we basically have to assume that the other width and the other length are the same. So, because rectangles are equal, right? So since we were giving, we were given this, these two, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the same values for the opposite sides. So, if we go ahead and add all of them, six plus six equals 12, plus four equals 16, plus the other four gives you 20, which is our perimeter. So. This is basically what we're doing. Six plus six plus four plus four gives us 20. So that is another way to find our perimeter. It's just adding all of the sides together. Thank you for learning with us today. I hope you come back soon and learn some more with me. Please comment if you have any questions, like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll be back with tons of new fun activities.